We're coming up at the top of the hour, and you are watching Weather Center Live. This hour, we're getting you geared up for the Memorial Day weekend, and we have some amazing video and stories to show you, like this. Tornado Alley, it's not small, it's big, and it's why we have more tornadoes here in the United States than anywhere else in the world. We begin with breaking news. An earthquake rattles Las Vegas. A 5.3 quake centered northeast of Las Vegas was felt in the valley and southern Utah just before noon local time. There are reports of damage to at least one freeway off ramp in Vegas. And you can see the separation in that concrete on the bridge deck at the top left side of that picture. You can see those folks looking at it. That's causing major traffic backups. We've got some video near the area affected. It's near I-15 and Highway 95 known to locals as the spaghetti bowl. Could see delays for hours, if not days, if this uh, structure damage is more significant. The quake is the strongest to hit Nevada since a magnitude 6.0 earthquake hit the northeast part of the state back in February 2008. We are going to stay on top of this story and we'll bring you any new developments throughout the hour. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Something else slowing traffic in the desert. Rain showers mm -hmm. is still very unsettled and cool there. Now, in the next five minutes here on the Weather Channel, we've got your forecast from coast to coast for this long holiday weekend. That'll be useful. Plus, we begin with the flooding, something that could be a problem throughout the weekend. Take a look at some video from Corpus Christi, Texas. Flash flooding there, and people had to use kayaks and paddle boats to get around yesterday afternoon. We covered this as breaking news on the show 24 hours ago. You're looking at the aftermath. Neighborhoods were flooded. Some cars were floating down the street, and we are bracing for more flooding in other spots this this weekend. Details just ahead. Did you see the windshield wipers of that car almost totally submerged? Amazing. It was like incredible yeah, rainfall eerie. out there. Yeah. Flash flooding just like that is one of the big threats that we got this weekend. And that's not all. Storm specialist Mike Bettis joins us from the lab to show us the reg regions at risk of big hail, even tornadoes. Hey, Mike. Yeah, guys, it's all on the menu this weekend, unfortunately. And it's a weekend a lot of people have plans to be outside because we're kind of unofficially kicking off a summer with a memorial holiday. We've had a lot of rain lately. Check out the rain we've had since May 1st. It has really been adding up here. In some spots, we've had uh, more than 18 inches, by the way. We have a large pocket here right through the Red River Valley. You know, Wichita Falls has kind of been the poster child for the epic flooding that we've seen, but really a ton of rain. The faucet just opened up once we flipped that calendar over to May 1st. And here's the forecast over the next week. And guess what? More rain almost in the exact same location. So it's that I-35 corridor and it's central Oklahoma back down through north central Texas where we'll have some of the worst of the rain. If there's any silver lining here is that some of this area is still considered to be in drought. Not a bad drought, mind you, because we've really made up for lost time with the recent rain. But some of that could be beneficial to the drought. But the unfortunate circumstance may be flash flooding. The lows that are working conjunction short term here will bring us plenty of stormy weather for the remainder of the day. And then the big upper level low that spins back here through the four corners will end up bringing us prolonged weather through the weekend that could be quite stormy. There's the forecast today for Stockton, Midland and Roswell. These are areas of watch for the possibility of some tornadoes and strong storms here. A Torcon of three for the rest of the day in West Texas here and in eastern New Mexico. So just heads up, some of these storms could put down some brief tornadoes. Tornadoes. Tomorrow's forecast really takes New Mexico just about out of the equation for strong storms and pushes it east. So now St. Angelo, Abilene, Oklahoma City, and Dodge City, we have a risk for some of the strongest storms as well as some tornadoes. Not a huge risk, but a three on the Torcon, eastern Colorado, and western Kansas. Then back down through central Texas, we'll have some issues again tomorrow on Sunday. Not a whole lot changes with that forecast. We do expand the storms a little bit farther east now. As far east maybe as Illinois, maybe over towards, say, Paducah or Memphis. And then the Torcon in particular is a three in central Texas. So Sunday here, right through Texas again. I think we've got four days we could see storms in Texas, if not more than that. And some of that could lead to more flooding. But Texas all the way up through, say, Iowa and Wisconsin watching for the strongest storms on Memorial Day itself, Dave. So a lot of threats here. Hail, wind, Flooding, tornadoes, and don't forget lightning. A lot of people want to be outside during Memorial Day holiday. Don't be a victim of that either.
That's a good point. Thanks, Mike. And we can actually see some of that starting here on this satellite image. This is visible satellite imagery, uh, similar to what you might see if you were up in uh, in space looking down toward the Earth. Of course, it's just black and white, but we can see little uh, cloud elements out over the Gulf of Mexico. Notice the surge here. Look at that surge. That is warm, humid air making it up into the hill country of Texas. This little disturbance here in Nebraska and the tail of it back here has moved in over cool, kind of cloudy uh, country. And uh, while well, there hasn't really been much reason for the air to rise, high pressure at the surface and cool air at the surface. So back here, we got an upper level low and thunder and lightning popping everywhere, especially up in the mountains. It's that disturbance that's going to move in over the plains once the atmosphere has heated up. High pressure moves east of the Mississippi River, and then this area will be warm and humid, primed for severe thunderstorms. Right now in Colorado, the front actually, we've got a low pressure down here and a front that extends out into Kansas. Right along that front, there's some new thunderstorms. No warnings on those, at least yet, but we'll monitor those. Scattered rain and thunder showers into Mena, Arkansas and then back toward, uh, well, just north of Dallas here on 35. No severe threat, at least at this point. But look at the rain we've gotten so far this morning. We've talked all about it. This is just another way to present it. Oklahoma City, on average in May, three inches of rain. That's what we've gotten so far. That's a factor of four and a half. How about Wichita Falls, Texas? 2.44, we've had that much. And this 12 inches is six and a half times our average rain in Corpus Christi with 10 more days left in the month. Amazing. Alex, back to you. Mind blowing. Thank you, Dave. Let's take a look at your Memorial Day weekend, at least the start of it. Saturday looking good in the East Coast, New York at 69, 83 in Charlotte. Cloudy but dry for Chicago at 77. It's the central part of the country where we've got that good chance of storms and rain could cause more flooding problems out into interior parts of the West. That's where we could see some rain, even a high elevation mix. Then on Sunday, many of the same areas will again watch for thunderstorms. Still dealing with that with interior parts of the west but phoenix to san francisco to la all look good seattle cloudy 68 degrees coming up game show you can't miss this what city am i stay tuned shopping for the family used to cause a lot of stress between me and my budget but thanks to finger hut we have found our happy place life is definitely sweeter at FingerHut.com, we got approved to shop with low monthly payments, over 200,000 items with brand names like Samsung, Dyson, DeWalt, and with great family stuff like this Samsung TV. And even our yoga mats. All you got to do is click on over to FingerHut.com and get the credit you deserve to get all kinds of great stuff for the family. Ow. This is good, Mom. Good? <laughs> It's delicious. And this new kibble blend is so healthy. Thank you. No, Nancy. Thank you. Kibbles and bits, because every bit matters. You see miracles all the time at our children's hospital. The first smile after surgery, a girl walking when they said she wouldn't, parents getting good news. But miracles never come easy. That's why as great as children's hospitals are, they need our support to keep miracles happening. Put your money where the miracles are. Support your Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Our oath isn't an empty gesture. It's the heart and soul of Terminix Nation. The Terminix Ultimate Protection Guarantee. A vow that we kill every termite in your home. Not here. Not now. Not in my house. Terminix. In a matter of seconds, your life can change. The Weather Channel's most watched original program is back. Things were just going everywhere. And then it was silent. This was it. This is just the beginning of what's to come. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High 86. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. 
Saturday night, clear to partly cloudy, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Seventh on the Weather Channel. And I turn around and there's three rattlesnakes. <sighs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Don't worry, Rob, you're covered. State Farm agents are there whenever you need them. Beautiful job. I knew you had it in you. And it was easy because of what I have in me. You know, the color-rich technology and all-climate protection package? It penetrates deep for long-lasting protection and beauty. And I'm the only one who's got it. Olympic Elite. For exceptional beauty and protection that lasts. Olympic. Simply done. Exclusively at Lowe's. This Memorial Day, stop by Lowe's and save $10 per gallon on Olympic's best paints and stains. Just another way Olympic makes it easy every step of the way. What's this? A box. It takes worn out things and makes them better. Wanna see? Yeah. Cool. What else you got? It's our biggest breakthrough yet. Wow. We're taking worn out batteries and making them into something strong. New Energizer Eco Advanced. World's first long lasting battery made with 4% recycled batteries. And welcome back, everyone. It is time to play What City Am I? I am your host, Mike Bettis, and it is time to play Temperature Trivia right here on the Weather Channel. Let's say hello to our contestants. It is uh, Battle of Wits. It's the sharpest of the sharp. It is the smartest of the smart. It is Dave Schwartz versus uh, Alex Wilson. Uh, on my cards here, I've noticed, Dave, that your father said at one point he had a premonition you'd actually be a meteorologist. He knew I'd be a meteorologist because he said that I could look into a girl's eyes and tell weather. Oh, oh. Bum. Oh. And, and Alex, I hear here that you may have actually passed up a lucrative career in art. I won Best Illustrator in first grade. That's a major award. You're number one. Are you ready Not to today, play? No. Not today. <laughs> temperature oh, trivia. Oh. oh, let's do it. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you a temperature trivia question about what happens this weekend across the country. All You've right. got your papers right in Go front ahead. of you. I want you to right. write your answer down on your sheet of paper. First question, let's reveal it for you. I'm going to show you two numbers here. What city am I? Tomorrow morning, your forecast low will be 39, but Memorial Day, your forecast high will be 86 degrees. What a swing. Okay. So let's reveal. Multiple choice. Let's oh. Reveal our answers for you. Is it A, Pittsburgh, B, Denver, C, Minneapolis, or D, Asheville? Before we go any further, I want these out. Take your IFP out. No, nope. I can't hear Somebody's the music. Nobody's talking to her. No, no one's talking no to cheating. me. No cheating. Write no. your answer on your sheet Write of paper. Answer, okay. You've got five seconds. Uh -huh. Pittsburgh, Denver, Minneapolis, or Asheville. Are you ready to reveal your answer? Yes. Yes. All right. Count of three, we'll do it together. You three, two, one. Both say Pittsburgh, let's reveal the answer. It is indeed Pittsburgh. Congratulations to Dave and Alex, both answering number one correctly. Wow, this is tough. This is. I'm impressed. Thank you all. I'm impressed. We have a dead even heat right now. We have three questions total here though. Let's go to number two. Go ahead. What city am I? Tomorrow morning, your forecast low at 41. Then on Tuesday, how about we go almost double plus? Tuesday, forecast wow, high of 90. Wow. What 40, city am I? 90, Let's reveal your multiple 90, choice selection. Is it A, Bangor, Maine? Is it B, St. Louis, Missouri? C, Hartford, Connecticut? Oh. Or D, Albuquerque, New Mexico? Oh, my God. Uh, Write your answers on the sheet of paper. All right, let's go. We'll yeah, wait for wow. your answer. Wow, that's tough. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Three-letter identifier come. Okay. Oh. What is your answer. C. Hartford and C. Hartford and the answer is Hartford, yeah! Connecticut. We, are awesome. we have a tie game right oh, now. Man. It is a pressure cooker. Winner take all. You get this one right. right. Oh. You wow. win. Are you ready? Hang on all a right, second. Here we go. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> go ahead. Forecast low in this city is 48 degrees. But on Tuesday, your forecast high is 87. All right. What okay. city am I? Are you A, Raleigh, North Carolina, B, 
New York City, C, Chicago, or D, Oklahoma City. Wow. Take your time. Mm. No time limit on this mm. because this is for all the beans. Everything the you beans. got. All right. Dig deep. What is your knowledge of country's temperature changes this Memorial Weekend? Well, what was the morning temperature? 48. Morning temperature 48. Afternoon high on Tuesday, 87 degrees. Can I put Are you feeling down? confident? Would you like to phone a friend? <laughs> yes. Are you feeling you need Dr. <laughs> Greg Forbes right now? Do yes. you need a Dr. Greg Postel in your life? Jim <laughs> yes. Cantori. I want to call up Postel. I'm going with what Are I Are you ready? Postel. Reveal your answers. New, New York, York City. City. Oh. I New York City, and the answer is New York. So, we so let's show them what they've won. Well, in fact, you haven't won anything. Uh -oh. Except our thanks. Congratulations. The handshake for me. Do we want to do a tiebreaker? Do you want to do a tiebreaker? Two right. seconds. Go ahead. Give me Dr. Greg Forbes, the Weather Channel Severe Weather yeah. Experts, middle name. Ooh. Arnold. Mm, James. You both lose. It's Stanley. <laughs> thanks for playing. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you get three Falcon, Cooper, or Hankook tires, you get the fourth tire free instantly. Plus, get no interest and paid in full within 12 months on your Pep Boys credit card. Trust the boys to get you there. It starts with a subtle wave that builds into soft fingers, lifting sails and spirits. Nothing makes us feel more alive than a summer breeze. Drifting with us on the water, chasing us through the trees and playing along the whole day. In the Great Lakes Bay region, the summer breeze is blowing. Where it's headed is pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. I take these out to put in Dr. Scholl's Active Series insoles. They help reduce wear and tear on my legs because they have triple zone protection and reduce shock by 40%. So I feel like I'm ready to take on anything. This is Brian. Every day, Brian drives carefully to work. And every day Brian drives carefully to work, there are rate suckers. He's been paying more for car insurance because of their bad driving for so long, he doesn't even notice them anymore. But one day, Brian gets snapshot from Progressive. Now, Brian has a rate based on his driving, not theirs. Get snapshot and see just how much your good driving could save you. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Uncle, the expectation shattering crossover from Buick. During the Buick Spring Sales Event, pay no interest for five years, plus get $750 purchase bonus cash on the 2015 Encore. Where you get your weather matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. Real local. We are live in Oklahoma. Our Real accurate. This one's going to have some precipitation with it. Real experts. Wow, that's the leading edge of the thunderstorm. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel. Keep the Weather Channel on. Here at the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is out in full force today. Only the Weather Channel. Xfinity sales professionals are always on the go, meeting new people every day. They're helping families get the latest Xfinity products and services. And they're making customers happy. Jumpstart your career with the best sales training in the industry. Great benefits like discounts on your own Xfinity services and the potential for high earnings. Have what it takes? Apply today and see what doors open for you. Memorial Day, the unofficial start of summer, is the official start of the biggest savings of the year. Your Investment Kia's Memorial Day Markdown Sales Event. We've marked down over 1,000 new Kias. Now, buy a new 2016 Sorento with zero down, $299 a month. Optimus, zero down, $279 a month. Plus, they're backed by a low price for its free guarantee. And free tires and batteries for life. Get Memorial Day savings at Best Smith Kia. Saving you the most on the Treasure Coast. The Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come.
currently in our area. 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds east-southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High 86. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, clear to partly cloudy. Low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Hopped off the plane at LAX with a dream and a card again. You know that song, right? No. I guess I do now, It's though. a classic. Is it really? From when? Like way back in the 90s? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, it's probably like 2008. Oh, it's Miley yeah. Cyrus, Party in the USA. I was detoxing back then, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, give us the stats. 64 degrees at LAX. You Burn, know. that's why you need the card again. <laughs> <laughs> People in the West are saying, what's up with this chilly weather? They are. And They're asking you, the Dave, what is up with the chilly weather? Well, if you'll hang with me, I will be glad to tell you. Let's go. Impatience, yeah? You know, if you look up in the sky in the city this week, in Mexico City, this is what you have seen. Look this. Look up. It's a complete halo around the sun. It's actually an optical illusion. Did you know that? No. Millions of tiny ice crystals in the upper atmosphere actually split that light, and the reflection of that light from the ice creates the illusion of a rainbow around the sun. Hi, look and shine. De -de -de -de. Yes. Yeah, that is beautiful. That's amazing stuff. Isn't science cool? Ice crystal clouds re being refract refracting the sun's light. Amazing. Mm, there you have it. You know, it's tornado week here at the Weather Channel, and we have some amazing new technology to show you just how amazing it is out there. Yes, we do. And so far this week, our storm tracker, Jim Cantori, has created a tornado and a lightning bolt right in the middle of the lab. Today, he's flying into a storm to break down why it seems year after year, the middle of the country is the prime target for mm. problems. A couple of days ago, I was talking about how in the United States we get about 1,300 tornadoes a year. That's more than 10 times of any other country. And what makes it incredible in Tornado Alley, Sam, is this is where we get the big tornadoes. The EF3, EF4, and EF5s, which we find really uh, more common here in the United States than really anywhere else in the world. So what makes up Tornado Alley? When you think about Tornado Alley, it, you think about a small alleyway between buildings. But uh, really, depending on the time of the year, uh, parts of Tornado Alley that you see shaded in red here become more active. So what are the two ingredients, the main ingredients you need for supercells, rotating thunderstorms that produce tornadoes? You need instability, heat and moisture, and you need shear, change in wind direction with height. We get both of these with a typical spring setup. So let's talk about this. Here comes all this warm, moist air out of the Gulf of Mexico back to meet that low pressure. Let's say it's in southeastern Colorado. We also have dry deserts in the southwest. So warm, hot air builds its way out into the Plain States uh, almost on a daily basis here. We talk about the dry line. This is where that sets up. So you have an area where this air can converge and come together and rise. Not only that, we have cold air aloft with troughs that help develop the surface low. So now you've got cold air aloft to help create this instability and get this air rising. And the whole key to this is, and I'm going to get down here and kind of show you this in a little bit more of a three dimension, is this changing in wind direction with height with this particular setup. So you're bringing that warm moist air north, you're bringing that cold air and that stronger wind aloft from the southwest. You see the scissoring that's going on here? Let's get into this because this is a crucial part of why we have such a big tornado alley. And basically, we talk about this uh, a lot on the Weather Channel, this horizontal tube. Sometimes Forbes will grab a pencil and he'll roll it in his hand. That's exactly what's going on here. This is a classic look at deep layer shear. But how do you turn this tube up into the vertical? Well, as warm, hot air rises, you get a cumulonimbus. And that cumulonimbus entrains this shear and this horizontal tube into it. So now you've got a supercell, a rotating thunderstorm. And it doesn't always happen. In other words, you don't always get a tornado, but at least a supercell gives you a chance for one. And we have 
supercells that set up uh, almost on a daily basis just about every spring. So again, as you can see, Tornado Alley is huge across the central, the southeast United States. Uh, and the reason for that is because of the way that we set up with our geography and the way that our spring patterns typically work here in the United States. Tornado Alley, it's not small, it's big. And it's why we have more tornadoes here in the United States than anywhere else in the world. The Men's Warehouse Memorial Day Sale is going on now. Clearance suits are on sale for $149.99. Clearance dress shirts for $29.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on even more. Only at Men's Warehouse. At the Barrett Jackson Auto Auction, cars like these can go for a cool million easy. How? It starts with the details, and nobody does details like new Barrett Jackson Premium Auto Care. Liquid wax formulated for a Barrett Jackson quality finish with advanced polymer technology for unbeatable protection and a residue free shine. Making your car look like a cool million by the people who know cars that look like a cool million. Oh! Try new Barrett Jackson Liquid Car Wax and Barrett Jackson Premium Auto Care products available at these fine retailers. A school reunion. I don't know. Who wants to play in Idaho? Gotta get Milwaukee up to speed. We win in Flint. We take the lead. We'll close the deal if we just show. Should I stay or should I go? When it's go, go to thenewchoicehotels.com. The I site with the right room, rewards, now? and savings up to 20% when you book direct. Choicehotels.com. So, you say men are superior drivers? Yeah. Then how do I get this... Safe driving bonus check. Every six months without an accident, Allstate sends a check. Okay. Silence. Are you in good hands? Yoshitsu. <laughs> Reliability is now an American thing. Introducing the all-new Chrysler 200, America's import. Find it at Chrysler.com. So we've had a Tempur-Pedic for a while, but now that we have the adjustable base, it's even better. When I put my feet up on this bed, my stress just goes away. I'm go up. Our Tempur-Pedic is the best thing in our house, except for my husband. Wait, wait, where are you going? <laughs> Discover how Tempur-Pedic can move you. And now through May 31st, save hundreds on a Tempur-Breeze mattress and adjustable base. All we need to sell Strongbow Hard Cider is ice. And an award for best tasting hard cider. Have you got the shot yet? Remember that thing about keeping your face behind the award? Strongbow. Did you know only 1% of supplements have earned the USP mark? An independent certification for quality and purity. I recommend Nature Made because they've earned the most of any brand. Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended letter vitamin brand. Remember the hassle of vacuuming. Before the Dyson V6 Motorhead Cleaner gave you powerful suction and standout performance without the hustle of a cord. Get ready for the passion, the pageantry, the drama. The NCAA Golf Championship, Women's Individual Championship Monday, with Team Championship Tuesday and Wednesday. Men's June 1st through 3rd, only on Golf Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds east-southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine, high 86. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, clear to partly cloudy, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Bop, 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 bop. 
here we go. I told you, we're going to bust out of this drought. Keep watching with us this morning because we're all watching history together. We have seen a lot of flooding video this week, but this is by far the most amazing of all. It's out of the country of Turkey, the city of Izmir, where torrential rain turned streets into rivers and just swept these cars away. That is amazing. I mean, sewers? I mean, what happened to them? Well, apparently, the sad thing is, is that critics say that if there were well-placed gutters in the area, it would have, you know, properly gotten Channeled rid of the water. water. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. and it would have prevented all of this flooding. You know, Izmir is a fairly large city. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised to see this happening. Wow, I mean, the scary. power of water. And we're looking at what could be a business or residential street. I mean, there's buildings on each side. And, and the first floors are totally gutted absolutely. out. Absolutely. Totally gutted out. One false step, you're in that, and you can kiss something goodbye. Uh, yeah. That is dangerous, life-threatening flooding. Wow. wow. Mm. Amazing Ismir. video. Ismir. You know what Ismir is in America? No. Uh, Smyrna. Oh. It, it's the English. Really? Uh, what, what, yeah, for Ismir. Yeah. There you have it. Hey, you're watching Weather Center Live. I'm Alex Wilson here with Dave Schwartz. So let's get to breaking news now. Listen to this now. An earthquake rattled Las Vegas. Now, uh, we're getting uh, new information. The U.S. Geologic Survey just downgraded it to 4.8 on the Richter scale, centered northeast of Las Vegas. It was felt in the Las Vegas Valley and southern Utah just before noon local time. There are reports of damage to at least one freeway off-ramp in Vegas. That's causing traffic backups. And we want to show you video of the area affected near I-15 and Highway 95, known locally as the Spaghetti Bowl. We're going to stay on top of this story, bring you any new developments throughout the hour. But folks we've talked to, uh, sheriff's deputy, said that uh, this could be something that delays you not just into the evening, but even into coming days. And interestingly enough, you see some rain showers in the mm -hmm. distance. We've had like 1,400 of an inch of rain today in Vegas. That's a record. Right. That so is record a record rainfall. for the day. And, and an earthquake. And an earthquake on the same day. And it just so happens the storm out of the southwest is going to get the severe weather going in the plains this weekend. That's a perfect segue because guess what? We are going to talk to storm specialist Mike Bettis for more on that threat into the weekend. You know, if you notice something in the sky there, by the way, in Vegas, it's pretty cloudy, a little dreary off in the distance there. They've had storms in the neighborhood. I wouldn't be surprised over the next couple of days if Las Vegas does indeed get a little bit of rain. All right, here's what's happening in the atmosphere right now. We've got that upper low that's spinning here and look at all the showers that we've got across the west right now. In fact, we've had some there in southern Nevada, but a lot of these storms really get firing as the low ejects out here into the plains and over the next several days it becomes a multi-day severe weather event for us. So there's the low. The low itself is going to spin up here into the high plains here and it takes its sweet old time getting there. It's like grandma driving to church. I mean it is slow. There's the deal. I say that because my grandma drives really slow to church. Uh, here's the deal. There's the low by Sunday. It barely budges here. The deal about this low though is not nearly as strong as in previous weeks. This is a repetitive pattern that we've seen time and time again, but this is not as strong a low, and it's not nearly as negatively tilted as uh, previous uh, weekends. Now, here's a look at the tornado trend, by the way. Boy, in May, we really snapped back with the tornadoes. Been a very low season up until May, and then things really began to take off, and right now we sit at 411 tornadoes nationwide across the country, about near pace of what we had last year when it was 888, one of the lowest years on records for tornadoes in the United States. States. For the rest of the day, we have some storms here in New Mexico and in Texas and some stronger storms up here around uh, Colorado as well. As far as your Torcon goes, a Torcon of three in western Texas and then eastern New Mexico, about a 30% chance we could have some tornadoes here. So just heads up, nothing's firing just yet, but things could get a little friskier later in the evening. There are the storms tomorrow, a little bit wider expanse and especially farther to the east. So now Oklahoma City is included in that red shaded area, but a large swath here from, say, um, maybe Spokane, Washington, or even maybe Boise, all the way down through New Orleans, we could have a chance for at least some storms. There's a look at the Torcon for Saturday, eastern Colorado and western Kansas, a Torcon of three, then a Torcon of three in central Texas. Again, I think central Texas is probably that one spot. Out of all the spots, we'll have storms this weekend that really is the real center focus of heavy rain and the possibility of tornadoes. 
Sunday's forecast still includes Texas and then farther north still a large wide area included in orange that includes now Florida for storms and then portions of the Midwest and places like uh, maybe Springfield, Illinois down toward even Memphis, Tennessee. Central Texas again a tornado threat on Sunday with a Torcon of three and Central Texas once again on Monday will have more opportunities for storms but also notice how they move up into the upper Midwest as well so a place like maybe Eau Claire, Wisconsin or Madison you could run the risk as well. Just be safe multi-day outbreak that does indeed include uh, Memorial Day itself, Dave. Thank you, Mike. We've got another look at that upper low you were talking about spinning over the southwest. There it is, clear to see. Another one preceded that one out here in the plains, the center of the spin in Nebraska, and just the Vort Center just stretches all the way out here. Temperatures have been well cool, and the moisture levels is not high, are not high, so we're not seeing any severe weather. But now we're beginning to feel just the leading edge of this vorticity here in Colorado. So new thunderstorms have developed. We'll have to monitor those for the potential of any warnings here in eastern Colorado. There you see them, uh, one of them cruising right on 70. They're all south of Denver. This one is moving north toward Denver. Temperatures once again cool here in Denver in the mid-50s this afternoon. Cheyenne only in the 40s. Meanwhile, some scattered showers. At least they're on the move and they're not gully washers at this point. But that next storm, by the time that moves in, the moisture levels will have increased here in the southern and central plains and will have a serious chance again for more fl flooding. Look at Wichita Falls on the Wichita River. They've had 13 and a third inches of rain this month. That's the rainiest month on record for any month of any year since we've been keeping records. And that record will go up by maybe three or four inches over the next four days. Just amazing how much rain we have gotten and how much more rain we're expecting through Memorial Day. Alex, back to you. You know, scenes like that across that part of the country, but in North Texas, it's the Trinity River that's over its banks. There are flood warnings up and down the river. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is on the banks of the Trinity River with the latest on that continued flood threat. A big turnaround and a big dent in the drought here in the Southern Plains over the past couple weeks. Here in Dallas, they've had almost seven inches of rain. And out of Wichita Falls, Texas, right now their third wettest May on record, nearly 13 inches of rain. Let me show you before and after, last year this time. The drought, a four-year devastating drought. The ground was hard, it was cracking. They were literally trucking water in. And what a turnaround in the past couple of weeks. Heavy rainfalls, unrelenting flooding. And now the Wichita River in Wichita Falls, Texas is over its banks. It's in minor flood stage as of this morning, expected to reach at least moderate flood stage sometime late tonight and Saturday. They're expecting more rain with flash flood watches there running into until Memorial Day, Monday morning there in Northwest Texas. They've been sandbagging. Evacuations kicked in yesterday. They've turned power off to some of the neighborhoods to prevent any kind of fires. And we're gonna be watching the radar as they've had some rain this morning, but more heavy rain and thunderstorms in the forecast through Sunday. Some areas could pick up three, four, maybe five more inches of rain on top of that saturated ground. Back here in Dallas, we're on the Trinity River in minor flood stage. A lot better here, no homes are being threatened. It's basically farmland where cows graze and low water crossings. And you can see where the water has encroached here from that tree right up here to just under the bridge where we're standing. That's about 100 yards, but right now uh, the river's only expected to go up about another foot and a half. And it really is all a function of how much rainfall, how much water comes out of the sky over the next couple of days. We'll keep you updated from the Southern Plains. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel on the Trinity River in Dallas. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High 86. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, 
clear to partly cloudy, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Sometimes the passage from boy to man flows directly through the oil aisle at the local auto zone. And with this change of oil, Rick's engine wasn't the only thing that was running a bit cooler. It's called the zone, and we'll help get you there. It's perfect weather to clean your car. AutoZone has everything you need. Get to AutoZone today. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis like me, and you're talking to your rheumatologist about a biologic, this is Humira. This is Humira helping to relieve my pain and protect my joints from further damage. This is Humira giving me new perspective. Doctors have been prescribing Humira for 10 years. Humira works for many adults. It targets and helps to block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to RA symptoms. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Talk to your doctor and visit Humira.com. This is Humira at work. I went to Ancestry.com, but I thought, I'm not going to make it very far. I knew my parents and my grandparents, and then it happened. I got a leaf. When I clicked on it, I could actually see my grandfather's draft card from World War I and his U.S. Census from 1910, and another member's tree that had my great-grandparents and their parents and everything. And it all started with my first leaf. Who will you discover at Ancestry.com? They didn't join this team to win championships or become famous. They join because there is important work to be done and only some able to do it. They are brighter, better educated, led, and equipped than any team in history. They are doctors, lawyers, engineers, technologists, and combat troops, all prepared for whatever comes their way. You'll find them where the lights don't flash, and the only contract they sign is with themselves and their country. One day, they may be asked what they did to make a difference in this world. And they can respond, I became a soldier. It may seem strange, but people really can love their laxative, especially when it's Miralax. It hydrates, eases, and softens to unblock your system naturally, so you have peace of mind from start to finish. Love your laxative, Miralax. Nice job, guys. And don't worry, this beauty will last and last, because I'm the only pain primer in one with easy wash formula, which you may find pretty handy someday. Olympic One Paint with exclusive easy wash formula stands up to 1,500 scrubs. Olympic, simply done, exclusively at Lowe's. This Memorial Day, stop by Lowe's and save $10 per gallon on Olympic's best paints and stains. Just another way Olympic makes it easy every step of the way. What's this? A box. It takes worn out things and makes them better. Wanna see? Yeah. Cool. What else you got? It's our biggest breakthrough yet. <gasps> We're taking worn out batteries and making them into something strong. New Energizer Eco Advanced. World's first long lasting battery made with 4% recycled batteries. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. You gotta ask, what was this bear thinking? He wow. or she climbed up this massive electrical tower in Alberta, Canada, 
to go after a raven's nest. No more. Imagine being the raven. They're not happy. You know, and there's your baby in the nest, and there's a bear. And it was a bearer of bad news. Very bad news. For those ravens. Maybe he didn't get them. We don't Maybe. actually see him eat them. How high up is that? When I see power, I'm thinking that's like 100 feet up. Is that right? That's what I would and you think. Gotta, and, and if you're the bird, you're thinking, there's no way anybody's going to get to this right. nest. Right. Let alone a terrestrial animal, beast, like a bear. And voila. You know those commercials, you're not you when you're hungry? Maybe like yeah. he became just my like a cat. Him? Oh my like dick. a cat, yeah, like a cat. Well, the bears, bears climb. become cats, but he became extra dexterous. Extra terrestrious. Exactly. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, this weekend, thousands of steaks will be grilled over an open. This is another um, interesting story. Mm -hmm. Over an open flame, but you can bet that many won't be cooked like this. Have a look. I think some meat eaters would think they don't want their steak cooked this way. These guys grilling steaks over lava. The idea surfaced from geologists at Syracuse University's Lava Project that mixes art and science in a man-made volcano. So this is the hottest barbecue in the world. It can reach temperatures of 2,000 degrees. And then you get steaks that look a little crispy. A little crispy, a little fast too. Yeah. You know, this could replace Sterno forever. Oh, absolutely. You go to you go to the next catered wedding, and there's just lava flowing under the chicken fingers, the mac and cheese, the green beans. So, how, how does that compare to the grill you may fire up this Memorial Day weekend? It's better. Sam Champion has the answer in this red hot edition. Red hot. Red hot. Brainstorm. It's time to dust off the grill and get a start on summer because grilling in warm weather is a lot more fun than grilling in the cold. But outdoor temperatures actually have very little bearing on flipping your perfect patty. Take Chicago. The temperature difference between January and late May is about 40 degrees. But because temperatures inside a closed grill can hit a whopping 550 degrees, the exterior temperature has a minimal impact. Look at this. The difference in temperature between a grill's interior and its exterior changes by just 9% from the dead of winter to Memorial Day. Wind, on the other hand, can affect your grilling success. Consider this. By cracking the grill lid open just a few inches to check on those burgers, you actually allow roughly two cubic feet of compressed heated air to escape in just a few seconds. Add an unnoticeable two mile an hour breeze and that can speed up the escape time to about one second. And each time you lift the lid and all that heated air escapes, the grill needs to heat new air, extending your grilling time. So pull back on the burger checking, because if this Memorial Day weekend, backyard chefs across America peek under the lid four times per batch of burgers, an estimated total of a quarter billion cubic feet of hot air will be released into the atmosphere. That's enough to fly more than 2,000 hot air balloons. And now you've been brainstormed. Sam Champion, The Weather Channel. What do you say we take a look at the Memorial Day forecast? Let's do it. Grilling could be a problem across the central into the eastern part of the country. Lots of thunderstorms on that map. Mm. Unbelievable. Toenail fungus? Seriously? Smash it with Jublia. Jublia is a prescription medicine proven to treat toenail fungus. Use Jublia as instructed by your doctor. Look at the footwork. Most common side effects include ingrown toenail, application site redness, <gasps> itching, swelling, burning or stinging, blisters and pain. Smash it. Make the call and ask your doctor if Jublia is right for you. New larger size, now available. Joseph A. Bank presents the Memorial Day Sale. All sport coats, sportswear, and pants in the store. Purchase one item and receive any two items free. Sale ends Monday. Joseph A. Bank, the new tradition since 1905. Hey, neighbor. This Memorial Day weekend, Ace can help your flowers grow bigger, better, faster. For four days only, miracle Grow Potting Mix is just $6.99 after $3 instant savings. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Where you get your weather 
matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. That's why we get real local the moment you need it. We are live in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Florida. Real accurate. This is round one of the severe storms that are coming through. From real experts on the ground. That is a gust front for you right there in dusty Texas. Wow. Where you get your weather matters. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel. Keep the great. Weather Channel on. Here at the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is out in full force today. Only the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High 86. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, clear to partly cloudy. Low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. on my feet all day gave me pain here in my knees but now i step on this machine and get my number which matches my dr scholl's custom fit orthotic inserts now i get immediate relief from my foot pain my knee pain find a machine at drscholls.com i am never getting married <coughs> we're never having kids <coughs> we are never moving to the suburbs we're never having another kid i'm pregnant i'm never letting go for all the nevers in life state farm is there Spider F3. With a cruising riding position and the most advanced vehicle stability system in the industry, you'll ride with a feeling of complete freedom and confidence. Visit your KM Spider dealer and test drive one today. The new Spider F3. Riding has evolved. We love PetSmart because they treat us like the stars we are. So this is the celebrity section. It's just the bonus size for our customers. For celebrities. For everyone. Okay. Now through Tuesday at PetSmart, hurry in and save on the brands you and your kids love. Because pethood's better with a partner. It starts with a subtle wave. Then builds into soft fingers. Lifting sails and spirits. Nothing makes us feel more alive than a summer breeze. Drifting with us on the water chasing us through the trees and playing along the whole day. In the Great Lakes Bay region, the summer breeze is blowing. Where it's headed is pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. This is Lydia's new Honda Civic EXL. Today it will take her far, with better fuel economy than a Toyota Corolla. Over five years, she could save $1,500 on average compared to a Nissan Sentra SL. But for now, there's a track she just can't miss, especially on that display. And with Honda Lane Watch, it's hard to miss her blind spot, too. No wonder the Civic is the best-selling car in its class. Start something special now with the Civic. The raise of an eyebrow, a nod of agreement. Now you can actually see these nuances clearly thanks to GoToMeeting with HD Faces. GoToMeeting takes simple online meetings a big step forward with its one-of-a-kind, high-definition video conferencing, which you can try free for 30 days. Meet face-to-face -face with your team no matter where they are, reducing travel costs and increasing profitability. GoToMeeting is extremely simple, so your team will actually use it. With one click, you're working on the same document, building trust, staying focused, and turning your business ideas into actions faster. Share your screen, mark changes, and do it free for 30 days. Millions have made GoToMeeting their go-to video conferencing tool. And now you can too. Free for 30 days at gotomeeting.com now. Collaborate in high definition free. Only at gotomeeting.com. The Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come. 
Thanks for staying with us here out in the lab with storm specialist Mike Bettis to talk about the threat of some more storms and some more flooding over the weekend. It's been a really big issue for us yeah. in Texas and in Oklahoma. Southern Plains have really been a target of big rain ever since the month flipped over to May 1st. It was like uh, the, the really clouds like just opened up. It really did. It just poured on us. We've had some places here that had more than 20 inches of rain. <sighs> just in the first 20 days of the month. This is a look at the map. This is all radar estimates. But I mean, look at the colors here. I mean, we have just been taken on the chin here in places like Texas and Oklahoma. And if you take a look, by the way, at the forecast for the next, say, what's an, we another nine days yeah. left in the month. The forecast calls for the possibility. I'm sorry, excuse no, my okay. reach here. I'm going to see if this computer wants to you go ahead. You want me to hit the little arrow? I want that. I want to go to that map go. right there. Come on, there we go. All right, so this is the area that we're gonna follow through next week that shows plenty of rain. Here we go, Texas, Oklahoma once again, moderate to heavy rain. And I think we could easily see another five to six inches, if not more than that, in isolated pockets, which is gonna set huge records. That's we already have records, now we're just gonna add to them. And, and it's incredible stuff because at home, think about a day that you get an inch of rain. That's a really wet right. day. It's wet 20 day. inches in about 20 days, meaning doing these it every, people so are you're doing, doing it every day. Every you're day. doing an inch every single day. It's and it's amazing. just more than we can keep up with. It's been great, it's been a huge benefit to the drought. Drought, absolutely. You know, something dramatic has to happen to, to cause a drought, but something dramatic has to happen to get you out of a drought, and that's what we're seeing and now. But to take a look at what's to come. We've got this low that spins here in the desert southwest, and that low tracks through the, the four corners here that comes up through the plains. It's not a very strong low. It's not as strong as the lows we've had in recent weekends, so I think there's still severe weather possible. I don't think it's a huge dynamic outbreak like we've seen in recent times. Here's a look at today's threat. Still encompasses a lot of uh, West Texas here and then New Mexico. We've adjusted our Torcon, by the way, a little bit farther south to include Southwest Texas. So uh, very near the Big Bend area. This is where we'll watch for the possibility of tornadoes. And then a larger area for tomorrow. I think that'll be the theme through the weekend. All right, so we watch more areas, but even the general thunderstorm areas, those areas in orange, yeah. lightning's a possibility and that's gonna, you yeah. know, put a monkey wrench in your So many people plans. want to be outside. So many people to go to the pool. There's no way the lifeguard's going to let you in the mm -mm, pool if there's happen. even a hint of lightning. Uh, Central Texas has got problems for probably every single day yeah. through the weekend. Then on Sunday, similar locations as you were alluding to, large areas in Florida all the way back really to maybe even Lake Tahoe, right. California where we're going to have some problems with thunderstorms. But uh, Abilene, Texas, uh, Dallas, probably areas will watch for the uh, at least a Sunday. Then on Monday, an area here from the Midwest back down all the way to the Mexican border. So here we go. So And, and it's just a bummer because it's now the, kind of the right. start of summer. Everyone wants to be outside. So just be aware of the weather. Yeah, just know what's happening around you. If you hear that thunder, get inside. But when you've got the quiet time, get out there and enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Mike. Dave, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, guys. Have a good holiday. Hey, time for the seven-day forecast. And do you know that on this date, we had the hottest temperature ever recorded in New England in the month of May? And it was 101 degrees in Lewiston, Maine on this date. Well, I'll tell you right now, there's a cold front offshore of New England. Low pressure moving up through the Maritimes, and we've got a northwest flow. Winds are gusting to 30, 35 miles an hour here in New England, and it's chilly. Freeze warnings are in effect tonight, but a warm-up is on tap later in the weekend. Meanwhile, here comes another storm around the base of this trough in the west. We've had record rains in Las Vegas today, flood warning for Umatilla County in Oregon, showers up here in the central Rockies. That's going to come around the base of this trough, as this one did. But unlike this one, which didn't produce any severe weather, the low-level flow of warm, moist air continues tonight and tomorrow. This will hit that, and voila. That's how we start off our seven-day forecast. Here we go, my friend. Eastern third of the country, including Lewiston, Maine, looks fine tomorrow, Saturday. Sunday also great with a warm-up. There's Boston at 78, Chicago at 72. The West still unsettled with showers. Sorry about that. That's going to continue right into Memorial Day with our best chance of wet weather here, the Plains heading in toward Indiana and Alabama Monday and Tuesday. Now this. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
tonight. Thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High 86. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, clear to partly cloudy, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. and creeks rising and the rain isn't stopping. A serious flood threat this weekend. Mandatory evacuations already underway in some spots. And Memorial Day weekend expected to be the most traveled in a decade from Pacific to the Atlantic, Mexico to Canada. We'll tell you what to expect on the roadways. And Storm Trapper, Trapper, Tracker, Jim Cantori creating tornadoes and lighting inside the Weather Channel studios. Our toys are better than your toys and we're prepared to prove it. But we start this hour with the storms across the central states. Good evening. Thanks for watching this Friday edition of Weather Center Live alongside Alex Wallace. I'm Keith Carson. Yeah, I'll tell you, those storms adding more rain to ground that is already saturated. The result? potential flash flooding from the Rio Grande to the Missouri River. Now we still got some rain that's coming down across parts of Texas. This is Wichita Falls here. Even the streets look more like rivers in some areas. The weekend forecast, it is not helping us at all. Rain, thunderstorms, that's what we're expecting throughout our Memorial Day holiday. All right, let's go over to uh, Mr. Bettis, who is tracking the latest on these storms. Hey guys, thank you very much. Yeah, plenty of storms out there this evening and more storms as we go through the weekend. So a lot to follow for you. We're gonna first start down in Florida because some interesting atmospheric things happening right now. Got a cold front, relatively weak cold front at that. It's sliding down through central Florida as we speak. We've had some storms that have fired up here and it's all thanks to the sea breeze. So we've got converging air masses here. That sea breeze is really waning a bit on the west coast, but you can see see that we've got the easterly wind that's come in here and we had a pretty strong a west wind that's starting to wane a bit no more severe thunderstorms but still some storms out there I think gradually these are going to uh, really taper off this evening uh, Fort Myers to LaBelle over towards say a uh, Sebring all these areas have some storms it's heavy rain right now so just watch for that in the short term I think as we go uh, maybe in the next hour or two those things really pull back back across Texas hey guess what the next couple of days you've got storms really highlighted for you a few scattered storms here in uh, coastal Texas, maybe around the Red River Valley. Then bigger issues potentially now in West Texas with storms that have fired up here around Alpine and a storm right down here that's no longer severe thunderstorm worn, but this would be the area that we see some of the strongest storms in the country for the remainder of the day. Look at all the lightning back here across the West. Plenty of dynamics in the atmosphere with a low that spins right about here and we're really pulling in some cooler air by the way. It's been pretty chilly across the West. Take a look at the uh, atmosphere around Vegas had some storms north side of town, by the way, putting off some lightning. Then right along I-70, even some snow at the higher elevations outside of Denver and some storms on the east side of town as well. Heavy rain through next week, so the remainder of the month, a lot of rain focused, especially in the southern plains. There's the forecast for today for Stockton to Midland on your way up toward, oh, maybe Tucumcari. Torcon of three, by the way, for you around southwest Texas. But now, what does the rest of the weekend promise coming back in a, just a few minutes? We'll talk to you about your forecast for Saturday, Sunday, and Memorial Day. All right, thank you, Mike. A big concern right now is flooding. Our Mike Seidel encountered these flooded streets in Wichita Falls. That's one spot that we need to keep a very close eye on over the weekend. But with the threat for more rain in the next couple days, several flood-prone areas will need to be on high alert. That's something we're going to continue to watch is the rainfall. Let's talk about it because, yeah, we have a little tornado risk. We're not overly hot on that. We think it's going to be more about rain. Take a look at Oklahoma City sitting at the third wettest month of all time, and we've got enough time left certainly to get to number one. I think it's pretty much a lock that we're going to get there. We only need about 0.2 inches left of rain, and we're going to see some rain through the entire weekend. Look at all these flash flood watches uh, in effect. Oklahoma City, Dallas, all the way down to San Antonio. The ground is saturated pretty much in all 
of these spots. So it's only going to take a strong thunderstorm or two, drop another inch or two of rain for us to have issues. And that looks like it's pretty likely uh, through this weekend. Now, right now, the coverage not huge, just a few thunderstorms out there, but that will kind of beef itself up as we head into tomorrow and then into Sunday as well. We're going to see more rain, more widespread. There's tomorrow. There's your severe weather threat, but also the rain funneling in from the Gulf of Mexico by Sunday. Kind of the same deal. Not much movement on this system. The rain continues there on Sunday and then into Monday becomes a little bit more uniform going all the way into parts of the southeast, but still under the gun across places like Oklahoma City. where We could see some problems. Wichita Falls also a spot. Alex. All right. Well, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend and AAA says it's going to be a busy travel weekend. Get this. More people will hit the roads this year than in the past 10 years. Well, we now bring in Heather Hunter from AAA and Heather, thank you so much for talking with us this evening. Thank you, Alex. I'm happy to be here. So how many people are projected to travel during the holiday weekend? AAA is projecting that 37.2 million Americans are kicking off the summer travel season with a trip, and about 33 million of them will be traveling by car this weekend. And that's a pretty big increase from last year, I'm assuming. It is. It's about a 4.7% increase from last year, and as you said, the highest level we've seen in the past decade. So what's the greatest factor that has people heading out of town this year? Um, well, there's actually three main factors. The economy is stronger. Gas prices are lower, down about 91 cents a gallon today compared to last year. And also the harsh winter has a lot to do with it. You know, a few months ago, Weather Channel was talking about record snowfall in Boston and ice storms. And now people have really kicked off those snow boots, put on flip-flops, and they're ready to travel. No doubt about it. So how far are travelers going this year? Most travelers will be going about a few hundred miles round trip. But they generally stay in the area for the long weekend um, and visiting many great destinations around the country, national parks and beaches. And, um, you know, we've got also many people, air travel is up as well. The uh, people are just really excited to get out there um, visiting some great cities and um, getting together with friends and family. I bet they are, no doubt about it. Thanks so much, Heather Hunter there from AAA, letting us know a lot of folks gonna be out there on the roadways and hitting the airports as well. So how's things gonna fare for us weather-wise out there for us through the Memorial Holiday weekend? Let's talk about some of those travel issues that you may encounter. As we move into our Saturday, eastern half of the country, no problems at all. We're looking really good up and down 95. It's right in the middle, the heartland. Showers and storms to deal with here, so be on the lookout along Interstate 35. All the way up towards Kansas City, you have that opportunity for dealing with showers and storms. And doesn't unfortunately stop into Sunday. Some of the same areas may be shifting a little bit farther to the north and east. So now you include a place like Chicago over towards Des Moines. Again, right along 35. The 10 quarter also looking unsettled for our Sunday. And then Memorial Day itself on Monday, still fairly quiet in the east, but we look towards the Ohio Valley, parts of the deep south for the showers and storms, and a little bit of isolated activity back across the Intermountain West. Keith? All right, thanks, Alex. The Can Man at it again, bringing the weather inside the Weather Channel's lab. Coming up, up close and personal with the tornado, so much so we can only hope he bought it a nice seafood dinner first. This is the kind of technology you can't see anywhere else. We'll take you to the lab coming up after the break. Let's do this. Let's move outdoors for the next few months. Let's build a kitchen under the clouds. A dining room with no walls, no ceiling. Let's put it all together, then let's get together a lot. Let's do this. Earth Grow Mulch or Miracle Grow Garden Soil, your choice, just four for 10 bucks. The Home Depot, more saving, more doing. It's your thing. No matter how you want to lose weight, you can do it fast with delicious, nutritious Slim Fast. Shake it off, blend it off, drink it off. Just take it off and keep it off. However you want to lose the weight, rich, protein-packed Slim Fast controls your hunger up to four hours. Clinically proven to work and work fast. It's your thing. See results in just one week. Losing weight has never been easier. With Slim Fast, it's your thing. From the very start, I wanted FitCore to be different. If you come to me, it's it's because you want to do what I do because I don't do what other people do. It's kind of like creating a brand for myself. Your business is unique. Your marketing should be too. With Vistaprint, it will be. Put your personal touch on 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. 
Just enter promo code TV500 at Vistaprint.com. Stay true to yourself. You can do this how you want to do it, and somebody else is going to think that's awesome and want to do it that way, too. Vistaprint.com. Ready? Ready. Steady? Go! It's more than a movie. It's now a ride. Fast and Furious, Supercharged. Ride it at Universal Studios Hollywood. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 86. Saturday night, a few clouds, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Here we go. I told you, we're going to bust out of this drought. Keep watching with us this morning because we're all watching history together. If you suffer from a dry mouth, then you'll know how uncomfortable it can be. But did you know that the lack of saliva can also lead to tooth decay and bad breath? Well, there is Biotene, specially formulated with moisturizers and lubricants. Biotene can provide soothing relief, and it helps keep your mouth healthy, too. Biotene, for people who suffer from a dry mouth. Beautiful job. I knew you had it in you. And it was easy because of what I have in me. You know, the color-rich technology and all-climate protection package? It penetrates deep for long-lasting protection and beauty. And I'm the only one who's got it. Olympic Elite, for exceptional beauty and protection that lasts. Olympic, simply done. Exclusively at Lowe's. This Memorial Day, stop by Lowe's and save $10 per gallon on Olympic's best paints and stains. Just another way Olympic makes it easy every step of the way. Well, this is the scene in Matson, Colorado, earlier today. That's about 90 minutes to the southeast of Denver. Some large hail slamming here into Highway 24, and you can certainly hear it, and you can see it gathering there on the road and in the grass as well. Not the type of thing you want to have to deal with when driving, those big stones coming down. All right, let's get a check on how the radar is looking right now with Keith. All right, yeah, let's take a look at the radar. Still pretty active across parts of Colorado. We've got some showers and thunderstorms out there. And look at where the rain snow line is, the higher terrain, seeing some snow and some lightning bolts pretty close to it. Can't worry, be excited about that. Uh, Denver itself uh, reporting occasional thunder right now. You can see down towards Castle Rock, some thunderstorms in there. We don't expect uh, too much in the way of severe weather here, but there are some thunderstorms popping on through. And again, as you head into the higher terrain, that is snow. Alex? Well, you know, tornadoes like this one just to the north of Big Springs, Texas this week, well, are one of the most powerful forces in nature. And we have a new way to show you how they start in a cloud before dropping down to the ground. It's an inside look at these severe storms that we know you won't find anywhere else. Here's Storm Tracker, Jim Cantori. We have all sorts of different sizes of tornadoes, right? You go from the funnel clouds and the weak tornadoes that you guys just showed to the F5 that hit Moore, Oklahoma on this date back in 2013. Horrible day. All right, let's talk about the anatomy of a tornado. It starts with a supercell, a rotating thunderstorm. But on these tornadoes, there is one thing that clearly stands out, especially when we look at radar. It is called a hook echo. And that hook echo is a little appendage on the southern flank of the storm. We know that these storms aren't flat. They're in the vertical, 40, 50, 60,000 feet. So let's pull this thing up and look at it. Because when you look at this big rotating thunderstorm, and as massive as it is, look at what's going on down here. Look at that tornado. 
So just a small part, but the most violent part of that supercell is right there in that tornado. So let's lift the base of this and talk a little bit about tornado genesis because uh, a lot of the research over the past several years has gone into what actually kicks off the tornado from the supercell. Well, there's one thing that stands out. You can sometimes see this when you're in the field. It is called the rear flank downdraft. It's when the uh, upper level winds get caught in the downdraft. They come through the backside. And if that rear flank downdraft isn't super cold, it can actually allow a tornado form, especially when you have on the eastern side of that, that warm, moist air. So warm, moist air, cool outflow on the backside of that. You see the rotation going on, and voila, we've got ourselves a tornado. Proceeding a tornado, there's another feature we have to talk about, uh, and you saw it on the video that we just showed. It's a wall cloud. It's the base of the thunderstorm beginning to lower, tremendous violent motion. Sometimes these whole wall clouds are rotating. Sometimes you just see the air coming up into the wall cloud. But when the wall cloud starts to produce a funnel, and whether that funnel is on the ground or not as a tornado, the problem is, is when you see debris on the ground, you know you've got a tornado. And the debris cloud is the last place you want to be, because within that, you've got trees, you've got homes, you've got cars, and sometimes you have humans. And that debris, of course, is being rotated around the storm and is eventually centrifuged out. In some of the stronger tornadoes, we see common features right around that immediate funnel. And that is upward motion right on the outside of that tornado, followed by inward motion, sinking motion on the inside. This is an amazing feat of nature. And no country in the world has more tornadoes than the United States. We average 1,300 per year. Wow, if you ever wondered about the sheer strength of Jim Cantori, there you go, you see it, standing next to a tornado, the guy's not even phased. All right, let's talk about tornadoes across the country. So far this month, 206 tornadoes out there for you. And yeah, uh, compare that to average, at least the 10 year average uh, for tornadoes in the month of year across the country. It's about 270. We still have several more days to go in this month. And that risk for severe storms with tornadoes exists as well. So we'll be watching it very, very closely. Back in just a bit. Remember when you said men are superior drivers? Yeah. Yeah. Then how'd I get this? All state safe driving bonus check. That? So weird, right? My agent Tom said only Allstate sends you a bonus check for every six months you're accident free. But I'm a woman. Maybe it's a misprint. Does it look like a misprint? Okay. Uh -uh. Silence. Ask an Allstate agent about the safe driving bonus check. Are you in good hands? Are you sending your kids to school with an allergy medicine that may make them drowsy? Only Children's Claritin provides non-drowsy 24-hour allergy relief. And it's the number one pediatrician-recommended non-drowsy brand. In class and out, your kids can live Claritin clear. At the Barrett-Jackson Auto Auction, cars like these can go for a cool million easy. How? It starts with the details, and nobody does details like new Barrett-Jackson Premium Auto Care. Liquid wax formulated for a Barrett-Jackson quality finish with advanced polymer technology for unbeatable protection and a residue-free shine. Making your car look like a cool million by the people who know cars that look like a cool million. Oh. Try new Barrett-Jackson Premium Liquid Car Wax. Available at Walmart. Making a fist, something we do to show resolve, to defend ourselves, to declare victory. That's how you do it. So CVS Health provides expert support and vital medicine. Make a fist for me. At our infusion centers or in patients' homes. We help them fight the good fight. CVS Health, because health is everything. Hey, neighbor, this Memorial Day weekend, Ace is the place for Weber Grills. For four days only, buy a select Weber Grill and get an Ace gift card worth up to $200 and free in-store assembly. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. All we need to sell Strongbow Hard Cider is ice. And an award for best tasting hard cider. Have you got the shot yet? Remember that thing about keeping your face behind the award? Strongbow. Where you get your weather matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. That's why we get real local the moment you need it. We are live in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Florida. Real accurate. This is round one of the severe storms that are coming through. From real experts on the ground. That is a gust front for you right there in dusty Texas. Wow. Where you get your weather matters. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel. Keep the great. Weather Channel on. The weather. All these pictures of family, uh, I'm always hiding 
behind my kids. I was so frustrated because I really tried to lose weight after my second daughter was born. So I realized I gotta do something. Something had to change. Lose weight fast with Nutrisystem's Fast 5 Plus Kit. Lose five pounds in your first week, plus one inch off your waist or your money back, guaranteed. But you can't take care of your family until you take care of yourself. I'm Marie and I lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem. My family loves it. I'm a role model for my girls. I have more energy now. I'm Melissa Joan Hart and I lost 40 pounds on Nutrisystem. It's time to take care of you. Order your 28-day Nutrisystem plan right now, including Fast 5 Plus. Plus, get one week of specially selected meals, plus one week of energizing shakes to rev your metabolism, free, and one week of craving crusher shakes to crush those cravings, free. Call Nutrisystem. Lose the weight and start feeling great. Call 888-575-SIZE right now and get Fast 5 Plus with shakes free. .com. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 86. Saturday night, a few clouds, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Well, farmers in California today volunteered to cut back their water usage by 25% as a way to avoid further losses due to the state's historic drought. Today's decision involves several hundred farmers in the delta of Sacramento and Joaquin Rivers. They hold some of California's strongest water rights. The state has already mandated 25% conservation by cities and towns. Let's take a look at that uh, California drought situation. And unfortunately, we haven't seen a whole lot of progress here. We still have a really big problem and we talked about this even months ago that this is a hole it's going to take California probably years to get out of so even as the pattern loosens in the west we're still going to take a while to get things back to normal. Alex? All right Keith meanwhile we check in on the western half of the country where we actually have some active storms you can see a lot of shower thunderstorm activity with a few of those lightning strikes showing up as well in fact over the past 15 minutes the number of strikes is getting up close to 700 not a whole lot, but no doubt about it, we certainly have some electrified storms here across the western half of the country at this moment from around Denver, getting close to Salt Lake City, and even into parts of the Pacific Northwest. Well, lightning, both powerful and unpredictable. Now, take this footage, for example, from Laird, Laredo, Texas, just the other day. This footage showing some of those bright bolts coming down. Look at that. My goodness, that's the type of strike that makes you just jump when you see it. And then, of course, here the resulting thunder. As for how those bolts form, the storm tracker, Jim Cantori, he breaks it down in the lab. Every second, somewhere on the earth, you get a lightning strike. All right, you're talking about something that is no wider than a penny. So how do we get this charge that builds up in the cloud that eventually leads to a 100 million volt lightning strike? Well, let's talk about this. Obviously, air rises, it cools, it condenses, you get clouds building up. And what's really interesting is what's in those clouds. You've got liquid, you've got ice, you've got grapple, and all these things contain charges. And these charges actually separate. So if you look way up into the anvil cloud, we're way up here 50, 60,000 feet, you You've got all these positively charged uh, article uh, particles, and then at the base of the cloud, they're negatively charged. Down toward the ground, they're positively charged. 75 to 85 percent of lightning actually happens in the cloud. All right, 75 to 85 percent. So how do we get that negative charge and that positive charge to break the insulation that lies between the base of the cloud and the surface of the Earth? Well, here's what we think happens. This isn't. Perfect, but we think this is what happens. When you start to see the precipitation fall from the cloud base, those negative charged particles start to come south or out of the cloud. They call that a step leader. But what's happening at the same time is those positive charges, which are on the top of homes, trees, humans, if you're the tallest object out there, actually come up as an upward stream or positively charged. When those two break the insulation, you get a lightning bolt. 
you clear the channel, and a lot of times you'll see multiple flashes within that channel, and that's just essentially the electrical discharge going on. That is the anatomy of a lightning strike, one of the most dangerous things out there in the world. It comes without notice, so that's why when thunder roars, we want you to go indoors. And you know what? He's not done yet. The can man's going to take us into a tornado alley later in the show with a look at why that part of the country is a target for tornadoes. But Keith, I want to send it over to you with a look at what is going on in the sports world this holiday weekend. All right, let's take a look at some racing. Indianapolis uh, is one of the spots we're going to be watching and actually a gorgeous weekend ahead for them. We're, uh, there we are. we're looking at them right now, looking pretty quiet. Traffic moving good, all things good. And actually across the entire east, it looks quiet. So let's talk about your four forecast here. Obviously Sunday is the day of note. Looks mostly cloudy there. Uh, chance of thunderstorms as we head into Monday, but we should be fine until then. The race, by the way, starting at 1215 Eastern if you're interested. And that's not the only big race on Sunday. Charlotte has a big race going on as well at the Charlotte Motor Speedway there. And uh, they're looking good. I mean, just beautiful weather. This is the uh, Coca-Cola 600. That's on Sunday night. I was just informed that sometimes people try to do both races, but I guess this year they're not going to do that anyways it's perfect weather temperatures are in the 80s into the mid 70s by later on in the evening should be no problems no delays at least as far as weather goes it can't account for the racing itself we'll be right back after the break unbelievable toenail fungus seriously Smash it with Jublia. Jublia is a prescription medicine proven to treat toenail fungus. Use Jublia as instructed by your doctor. Look at the footwork. Most common side effects include ingrown toenail, application site redness, <gasps> itching, swelling, burning or stinging, blisters and pain. Smash it. Make the call and ask your doctor if Jublia is right for you. New larger size, now available. Kick summer off right with great Memorial Day deals at Lowe's. Like 15% off all in-stock ceiling fans, $99 and more. Plus 40% off all special order level or blinds and shades. So hurry into Lowe's now for big summer savings. Seal cracks and splinters with the ultimate do-over for wood and concrete. Don't replace, resurface. Bayer Premium Deck Over, exclusively at the Home Depot. new Fiat 500X crossover. Ooh. Bigger, more powerful, and ready for action. Next. Expected wait time, 55 minutes. Your call is important to us. Thank you for your patience. In the nation, we know how it feels when you aren't treated like a priority. We do things differently. We'll take care of it. We put members first. Thank you. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. One can of Bush's beans. Home style sounds good, but country style not without its charms. Brown sugar hickory. Who says no to hickory? New sweet heat. Sure. There are no rules here. Bush's beans. What's your favorite flavor? Behind this door, there's a scientific genius at work. My daughter. It all started when she got a Dell 2-in-1. It's a tablet when you want it, and a laptop when you need it. Dell 2-in-1s with Intel inside have everything you need to learn and do just about anything. Whoa, genius! Like father, like daughter. Dell Inspiron 2-in-1s, starting at $379.99. Buy select PCs for $699.99 or more and get a free 32-inch TV. Ready? Ready. Steady? than a movie. It's now a ride. Let's go! Fast and Furious Supercharged. Ride it at Universal Studios Hollywood.
Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 86. Saturday night, a few clouds, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Didn't give up. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. We have serious flash flooding happening across parts of Texas and Oklahoma tonight. And when you look at the numbers, it's no surprise. Yeah, I mean, you take a look at it here. And look at the, the sticking out here. We're talking places getting up over 20 inches a ton of, rain. of rainfall. That's yeah. not that we're talking about the first six months of the year now. Right. This is just since the beginning of the month. Yeah, it, it's been pretty crazy in Texas because I've also noticed that we had a lot of tornadoes there so far this May. Luckily, they've been rural for the most part, but that and the rain, and we're going to be watching that rain for a little while, even though Luke Brown will tell you rain is a good thing. Sometimes you get a little bit too much. This is Corpus Christi where they're getting around in kayaks and paddle boats. Not just for tourists, the paddle boats. Dozens of cars stuck in the floodwaters and a few drivers actually needed to be rescued. In a few minutes, we're gonna take a look at what areas are at risk for more flooding in the days ahead. First, we do wanna start with the storm threat for the holiday weekend. For that, we went ahead to Mike Bettis in the lab. Alex, thank you very much. We do have some storms we're following. We're actually following storms tonight, and it looks like the next couple of days offer up some possibilities of some strong storms, maybe some storms that could even produce tornadoes. We're going to start in Florida and show you what's happening right now. We've got a weak cold front that's been pushing south through the state, and we've actually had some storms that have popped up here in South Florida. What is going on here? Well, we've had the sea breeze, the converging air masses here with an east wind. The west wind has backed off a bit. We still have some storms that have been flaring up here. I suspect these storms will probably wane a little bit once the sun sets and uh, the converging air mass is kind of going away right now, expecting these storms to go down in intensity. A storm's just north of Fort Myers in between Sebring and LaBelle. We have some pretty strong storms as well. Heavy rain producers, by the way. Maybe a little bit of lightning will be embedded in that. Texas, if we take you there, across the Red River Valley, we've had a little bit of rain today. We have some storms in around San Antonio. Nothing huge right now. And some bigger storms out in West Texas, and I think that becomes more of a focus of storms today. Fort Stockton, between Fort Stockton and Alpine, right along Highway 67, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. Brewster, Jeff Davis, and Pecos County. That goes until 645. So don't be outside. Park your car under some cover, or this is going to get dinged with some possible golf ball size hail. Bring the dog in, too, by the way. Don't want the uh, dog getting injured this evening. We've got some storms flaring up across the west. A lot of lightning embedded here as the low spins and the counterclockwise flow around. There's actually bringing in a little bit cooler air to a lot of portions of the west. You can see some storms north side of Vegas. They're uh, waning, too. The storms right along I-40. Some showers and storms up near the Grand Canyon. Some storms around Denver, by the way. And how about this? Picking up some snow on the radar and the high elevations outside of Denver. And some pretty strong storms that have just now slid east of I-25 near Castle Rock and over toward Ponderosa Park. Watch for the lightning here. That eventually could go right along I-70. Today's thunderstorm threat is in West Texas, portions of New Mexico. Torcon of three here, right where we had that severe thunderstorm warning, by the way. Southwest Texas, so a Torcon of three here. Going into tomorrow, large area of severe thunderstorms and the possibility of tornadoes here. Torcon here across western Kansas, eastern Colorado, right around a three. And then farther south, a three for you in southwest and central Texas. That's for Saturday. Now getting into Sunday and really in the heart of your weekend here, you can see a large area again across the middle of the country where tornadoes could be a possibility. Central Texas, once again, we have a chance of a tornado and a Torcon of three for Memorial Day itself. Not a huge risk for tornadoes, but the risk extends from Texas, Alex, all the way up into the Midwest. Heads up on that weather as you make plans for Monday. Absolutely, and as you saw with those several days in advance, we're going to be talking about storms in some of the same areas, and that's going to mean the potential for more flooding out there. That is a problem. Dallas, check it out so far this year. 
over 22 inches of rain. Now, all of last year, we saw a little bit over 21 inches. So you get the picture. We've seen quite a bit of rain, at least compared to what we saw all of last year. We've got more to come. Because of that, watch out. Flash flood watches in place. Southern Plains down across a good chunk of Texas. Many of these flash flood watches lasting through the Memorial Holiday weekend. That's because, again, we're going to be dealing with day after day of that potential for some storms. Right now, a few showers here just north of the state line with Texas and Oklahoma, and then a few spotty showers in the southern part of the state, and then that one lone storm that Mike was talking about there impacting Pickles County. But here we are for tomorrow looking for some of these areas, more scattered showers and storms. Even where we don't have the threat for severe storms, we'll have the threat for rain that could come down uh, heavily at times. Sunday, we keep the threat going. Monday as well, your Memorial Day itself. Dallas down to San Antonio, Oklahoma City again, and then spreading a little bit farther east into parts of the deep south, you have that opportunity. So the rainfall totals here for us through Monday, pretty widespread in the yellows with three to five inches in a strip here of five five to eight inches that'll be possible on already waterlogged and soaked areas. Keith? All right, thanks, Alex. 33 million. That's how many Americans are expected to hit the highways this holiday weekend. And despite creeping gas prices, this will still be the cheapest Memorial Day for drivers in at least five years. NBC Steve Handelsman is in the nation's capital tonight. And Steve, I'm sure you've done a bunch of these pain at the pump kind of stories. What's the real threshold oh, for yeah. people saying, you know what, I'm gonna stay in my own backyard and drink? Okay, thanks. Good evening. I think the forget about it factor is three or four dollars a gallon. Gas is a whole lot cheaper than that now, and a lot of people are saying on this holiday weekend, let's burn some. Charles Sabatier, Susie Boggs, and their dog, Lady Sybil, are headed to the beach for Memorial Day, and their trip will cost a lot less than last year. The national average price of regular gas is $2.73. That's more than Charles spent for gas in January, but still low enough that the trip's more fun. You're spending less money, that's, that's a good thing. It just feels better to travel when it's cheaper. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Millions agree, with gas a buck a gallon less than in 2014. AAA is predicting a record travel weekend. The cheapest gas prices in five years for the holiday are motivating 33 million Americans to take a trip for Memorial Day weekend because driving is a lot less expensive than it usually is. And it's not just road trips to America's beaches. More Americans will fly to vacations this summer to faraway places that are suddenly more affordable. With the dollar as strong as it is right now and airfare and hotel prices coming down from what we've seen in years past. But this weekend, and Charles and Susie are happy to spend less close to home. And the trend is good. Keith AAA says it looks like gas prices will continue to drop for the rest of the summer. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Steve. That is good news indeed. All right. Let's talk about your travel forecast then. If everything else being equal, let's take a look at what it's going to be like to be on the roads. The east is going to be good. We know that. Look at the entire east coast on Saturday. Quiet. It's really the central part of the country. We're going to be watching for some showers and some thunderstorms. There is a severe weather threat, but really it's, I think it's more about flooding. Not that flooding isn't severe weather, but that's what we're going to be watching. The west, relatively quiet along the coastline, Interstate 5 here. But as you look over the mountains, we've got some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And if you head into the high terrain, a little bit of snow is a possibility, but chances are you're not going to be going up there. There, just traveling here and there. All right, on Sunday, not a whole lot changes. Again, east, beautiful. You're going down 95, maybe some showers and thunderstorms in Florida, but you sign up for that pretty much year round. Not a big deal. Uh, all the way up and down the eastern seaboard, and it's the middle part of the country. Interstate 35 here, maybe 70. You're going to see that chance of showers and thunderstorms. A few severe storms doesn't mean you shouldn't be traveling there. It's not that big of a tornado risk, for example, but there is some flooding that we'll have to be watching. And as we head Got a lift in here a little bit into the northeast, so showers and storms here, and we kind of closing out the area of the nicest weather and building some of these showers and storms into the Ohio Valley by later in the afternoon. Alex? All right, Keith. Meanwhile, we've got some chilly conditions to deal with. Yeah, all right, we're approaching Memorial Day, the unofficial start to summer, and many of us feeling that sort of May chill. Let's talk about some of these numbers because it's going to get quite cool enough for even some frost issues. Frost advisories in place. A spot like Pittsburgh, I tell you, it was just a week ago we were also dealing with frosty conditions. And here we go again for tomorrow morning in the pink freeze warnings in place. That includes you uh, there as you slide your way just south of Buffalo, even into the lower Michigan dealing with that. So a lot of plants may have already been planted. 
Make sure you protect them. They're sensitive to that cold and they could run into some problems. Here we are right now, 63 degrees in Pittsburgh, 70s around Philly up towards New York City. So still fairly mild. The cool spot, Saranac Lake, which is sitting at 43 degrees. What's happening is a cold front pushing through and behind that now we're bringing in some cooler Canadian air. So that's going to be in place for us through our tomorrow. It doesn't last too long. We'll notice those temperatures climbing, but by tomorrow morning, waking up to some 30s out there. Sunday morning, though, well, it's a much warmer time. 46 in Albany, 54 in New York, with Pittsburgh getting up to 48 degrees. So quick, brief, chill time. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 86. Saturday night, a few clouds, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Advanced Design makes it easy to protect your dog or cat from fleas and ticks. Discover Soresto. With the performance you expect from topicals in a non-greasy collar, Soresto provides protection against fleas and ticks for eight months. Soresto. Nice job, guys. And don't worry, this beauty will last and last because I'm the only pain primer in one with easy wash formula, which you may find pretty handy someday. Olympic One Paint with exclusive easy wash formula stands up to 1,500 scrubs. Olympic, simply done, exclusively at Lowe's. This Memorial Day, stop by Lowe's and save $10 per gallon on Olympic's best paints and stains. Just another way Olympic makes it easy every step of the way. Are you up for whatever? Don't answer. Grab a Bud Light and show it. Find the fun around every corner. Better yet, be the fun. And keep it going with the crisp, refreshing Bud Light. The perfect beer for whatever happens. Need new tires? Right now at Pet Boys, when you get three Falcon, Cooper, or Hankook tires, you get the fourth tire free instantly. Plus, get no interest and paid in full within 12 months on your Pet Boys credit card. There. Kick summer off right with great Memorial Day deals at Lowe's, like a $250 gift card with the purchase of select John Deere mowers via mail-in rebate, plus up to 30% off select major appliances, $396 and more. So hurry into Lowe's now for big summer savings. If you're an adult with type 2 diabetes and your A1C is not at goal with certain diabetes pills or daily insulin, your doctor may be talking about adding medication to help lower your A1C. Ask your doctor if adding once a week Tanzium is right for you. Once a week Tanzium is an injectable prescription medicine that may improve blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes, along with diet and exercise. Once a week Tanzium works by helping your body release its own natural insulin when it's needed. Tanzium is not recommended as the first medicine to treat diabetes or in people with severe stomach or intestinal problems. Tanzium is not insulin. It is not used to treat type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis and has not been studied with mealtime insulin. Do not take Tanzium if you or your family have a history of medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you're allergic to Tanzium or any of its ingredients. Stop using Tanzium and call your doctor right away if you experience symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, which may include itching, rash, or difficulty breathing. If you have signs of pancreatitis, such as severe stomach pain that will not go away and may move to your back, with or without vomiting, or if you have symptoms of thyroid cancer, which include a lump or swelling in your neck, hoarseness, trouble swallowing, or shortness of breath. Before using Tanzium, talk to your doctor about your medical conditions, all medicines you're taking, if you're nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant, and about low blood sugar and how to manage it. Taking Tanzium with a sulfonyl urea or insulin increases your risk for low blood sugar. Common side effects with Tanzium include diarrhea, nausea, injection site reactions, cough, back pain, and cold or flu symptoms. Some serious side effects can lead to dehydration, which may cause... 
Ask your doctor if adding once a week Tanzium is right for you. Go to Tanzium.com to learn if you may be eligible to receive Tanzium free for 12 months. Make every week a Tanzium week. All right, looking live at Las Vegas, Nevada right now. You got to take a pic in front of that sign. I haven't done it, but uh, you know what? Earlier, there was a magnitude 4.8 earthquake in a remote area of Nevada that was felt in Vegas. This is the scene earlier today in Interstate 15 in Vegas. On the left, you can see where a crack on the highway has formed. It's still unclear if it was caused by the earthquake, but that'd be a heck of a coincidence, wouldn't it? Highway Trooper Loy Hickson was on the air with us earlier saying that this is causing extended delays and that is the uh, only extended or major damage they have seen so far. So that is good news. Uh, the earthquake has been slowly uh, kind of downgraded. That happens a lot. They fine tune with the sun what their numbers actually are. So now a 4.8 magnitude earthquake and again to the north northeast of Vegas. And if you've been out to Vegas, you know 80 miles north northeast of Vegas is nothing. There, there's nothing out there, but it was felt in Vegas and that was earlier uh, this afternoon or actually their time around noon their time. Alex? Well, you know, we continue to monitor storms across the center of the nation now and into the weekend. Wichita Falls, Texas could reach 500 year flood levels this weekend, potentially impacting up to a thousand homes and businesses. We want to bring in Jonathan Kurtz, who is now on the phone from the National Weather Service in uh, Norman, Oklahoma. And thank you so much, Jonathan, for joining us here this evening. So how much rain and flooding could the area see? Well, we've already got uh, flooding occurring on the Wichita River and Wichita Falls. Um, right now, as we get to the weekend, we've had a little bit of a lull in activity now. we got another chance of showers moving in uh, tomorrow through the day and then really heavy rainfall overnight. We could see almost five inches of rain in Wichita Falls uh, by Sunday morning. And a lot of that rain may push the river to record flood levels. The record is 24.4 feet. And right now, our, our likely scenario for river crest may be around 26 feet uh, on uh, by Sunday morning. So, wow. Now, how does the National Weather Service uh, offices there go about predicting some of these potential numbers with these rivers rising? Well, the River Forecast Center that covers uh, this part of the country is in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we work really closely with the forecasters at the River Forecast Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and they have a series of models, and right now what we're using is the ensemble forecast models from them. It's experimental, and we're able to project out farther. The big thing is we're getting this shot of rain over the weekend, but the one thing to remember is upstream of that, we're also expecting three to four inches of rainfall, and that'll bring another flood wave through where we could see uh, major flooding occurring on the Wichita River and across the Texoma region region of uh, southern Oklahoma and northern Texas on through the early part of next week. We could see flooding to continue across most of the rivers and streams in that area. Now, what would be the best and worst case scenario for, for the flooding there? Uh, well, well the, the most likely scenario is probably going to be some crest around 26 feet sometimes Sunday afternoon. Uh, but that river stage will probably stay up near uh, major flood stage 22 to 24 feet through Tuesday evening. Uh, now, the best case scenario, maybe uh, moderate flood stage around 20 feet to 22 feet. Really, it, flooding's ongoing, and we're expecting this flooding to continue into early next week. Wow. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan Kurtz. They were the National Weather Service office there in Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, again, not looking too good with the flooding situation there, uh, particularly as we slide our way down towards Wichita Falls uh, with that Wichita River continuing to rise. All right. Now, as we look to the next seven days, look again tomorrow. The risk for more showers and storms. As Jonathan was just mentioning here in those areas. Some of those could be strong to even severe. Notice here in the east, though, we'll start off our weekend beautifully. If you like cool conditions, you'll enjoy it here in the northeast. 60s. We'll return to you in a bit here because those 60s, they won't last very long. All right, by Sunday, still focusing here in the middle of the country. Again, that risk for severe storms existing. Northern Plains seeing the chance for some storms, even getting into the western portions of the Great Lakes. And then Memorial Day Monday itself, a lot of the country having at least the opportunity to de deal with some showers as well as some storms. And again, on Monday, we don't have it painted in red, but there still could be some strong and severe storms to deal with here across uh, portions of the Southern Plains and even getting into portions of the Midwest. Tuesday for you heading back to work.
The map, I promise you, has changed, but the weather looks pretty similar, doesn't it, right, with more showers and storms here getting into the Ohio River Valley. And as I mentioned, we'll come back to the northeast and those temperatures, those 60s, they're gone. We're talking 80s, 87 now for you in New York on Tuesday. Boston heats up as well Wednesday up to 84 degrees. And one thing we're going to notice is the humidity levels will be climbing as well, so it's not going to be very comfortable here uh, up and down the eastern seaboard. More storms along the Gulf Coast up to the Great Lakes region on our Wednesday and then Thursday for us. We'll see that try to sneak into portions of the northeast still warm there in the uh, the 95 corridor and again the heartland seeing more storms keith all right thanks alex straight ahead more must see tv as cantori flies into storms all without leaving the building he's taking us into the heart of tornado tornado alley next did you know only one percent of supplements have earned the usp mark an independent certification for quality and purity. I recommend Nature Made because they've earned the most of any brand. Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended fish oil brand. All we need to sell Strongbow Hard Cider is ice and an award for best tasting hard cider. Have you got the shot yet? Remember that thing about keeping your face behind the award? Strongbow. Where you get your weather matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. That's why we get real local the moment you need it. We are live in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Florida. Real accurate. This is round one of the severe storms that are coming through. From real experts on the ground. That is a gust front for you right there in dusty Texas. Wow. Where you get your weather matters. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel. Keep the Weather Channel on. Here at the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is out in full force today. Only the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, thunderstorms early, low 76. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 86. Saturday night, a few clouds, low 77. Winds east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. Right now, get five bucks off cans and $20 off buckets of select paints and stains. The Home Depot, more saving, more doing. Jackie's heart attack didn't come with a warning. Today, her doctor has her on a bare aspirin regimen to help reduce the risk of another one. If you've had a heart attack, be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. At the Barrett Jackson Auto Auction, cars like these can go for a cool million easy. How? It starts with the details, and nobody does details like new Barrett Jackson Premium Auto Care. Liquid wax formulated for a Barrett Jackson quality finish with advanced polymer technology for unbeatable protection and a residue free shine. Making your car look like a cool million by the people who know cars that look like a cool million. Oh. Try new Barrett Jackson Liquid Car Wax and Barrett Jackson Premium Auto Care products available at these fine retailers. We live in a pick and choose world. Hi. Choose, Hello. choose, choose. Ah. But at bedtime, why settle for this? Enter Sleep Number. Don't miss the Memorial Day Special Edition mattress with Sleep IQ technology. Sleep IQ tells you how well you slept and what adjustments you can make. You like the bed soft. He's more hardcore. So your sleep goes from good to great to wow. Only at a Sleep Number store. Save $500 on the Memorial Day Special Edition mattress with Sleep IQ. Plus 36 months special financing. Ends Monday. No better sleep with Sleep Number. Xfinity sales professionals are always on the go, meeting new people every day. They're helping families get the latest Xfinity products and services. And they're making customers happy. 
Jumpstart your career with the best sales training in the industry. Great benefits like discounts on your own Xfinity services and the potential for high earnings. Have what it takes? Apply today and see what doors open for you. Bop, 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 bop. Here we go. I told you we're going to bust out of this drought. Keep watching with us this morning because we're all watching history together. Hi, everyone. Watching some storms are firing up for us across multiple states this evening, including across Florida. Let me show you what's happening right now as we got a cold front that's been sweeping across the state. We actually have some pretty strong storms that are producing, by the way, severe thunderstorm warnings. So uh, just heads up here on what could be a pretty rough and tumble evening for you and a few spots here in Florida, including, that, by the way, new severe thunderstorm warnings that have been issued. And one includes Polk County. This is around Lake Wales. This goes until 830 this evening. So if you live around Lake Wales or maybe uh, Winter Haven, heads up. That could be producing some pretty good uh, hail with it, but a lot of rain, tons of rain pouring out of the Florida storms uh, this afternoon and this evening. A few scattered storms here at coastal Texas over toward uh, near San Antonio. Then storms that have fired up here in West Texas as well. That includes around Fort Stockton. Storm here with a severe thunderstorm warning for Brewster, Jeff Davis, and Pecos County that goes until uh, 45 past. So there's almost another hour to go with that one. Big, large complex here across the West. A lot of storms, a lot of lightning. We've actually even had some hail, impressive hail by the way, in Colorado. Uh, take a look at what happened there. Uh, storms around in Matheson, and how would you like to be in that? No thank you, but uh, this could be the MO of some of these storms for the remainder of the evening. In fact, we've got brand new severe thunderstorm warning that goes for Douglas and Elbert County. So just around Castle Rock and over toward Ponderosa Park. Watch for some hail here and a warning that goes until 615 this evening. Threat doesn't end today, goes throughout the holiday weekend, including western Texas, eastern uh, New Mexico, up through portions of Colorado for the rest of the evening. Southwest Texas, a Torcon of three. If you're not familiar with the Torcon, it's an easy to understand zero to 10 scale. The higher your number, the higher your risk, okay? If you've got a 10, you've got a 100% chance of a tornado. For tomorrow, a three in eastern Colorado and in western Kansas, and then southwest and central Texas, a Torcon of three for you for tomorrow. Going into Sunday now, larger area right through Tornado Alley. And then a big area of just general thunderstorms for the country. How about your Torcons on Sunday? A three in Central Texas. That'll be near Abilene and maybe could include a place like a Dallas-Fort Worth. For Memorial Day itself, there is the area of greatest risk in red, but from Florida, all the way to Oregon, we have a risk of some showers and storms. So if your plans take you out, maybe even as far north as Owasso or Detroit, guys, heads up for the storms on Memorial Day. All right, thanks, Mike. As part of Tornado Week here at the Weather Channel, we're rolling out some incredible new technology, bringing weather into the lab with storm tracker Jim Cantori. And that excites him, but now he's taking a look at the middle of the country, a spot prime for severe weather. A couple of days ago, I was talking about how in the United States we get about 1,300 tornadoes a year. That's more than 10 times of any other country. And what makes it incredible in Tornado Alley, Sam, is this is where we get the big tornadoes. The EF3, EF4, and EF5s, which we find really uh, more common here in the United States than really anywhere else in the world. So what makes up Tornado Alley? When you think about Tornado Alley, if you think about a small alleyway between buildings. But uh, really, depending on the time of the year, uh, parts of Tornado Alley that you see shaded in red here become more active. So what are the two ingredients, the main ingredients you need for supercells, rotating thunderstorms that produce tornadoes? You need instability, heat and moisture, and you need shear, change in wind direction with height. We get both of these with a typical spring setup. So let's talk about this. Here comes all this warm, moist air out of the Gulf of Mexico back to meet that low pressure. Let's say it's in southeastern Colorado. We also have dry deserts in the southwest. So warm, hot air builds its way out into the Plain States uh, almost on a daily basis here. We talk about the dry line. This is where that sets up. So you have an area where this air can converge and come together and rise. Not only that, we have cold air aloft with troughs that help develop the surface low. So now you've got cold air aloft to help create this instability and get this air rising. And the whole key to this is, and I'm going to get down here and kind of show you this in a little bit more of a three dimension, is this changing in wind direction with height with this particular setup. So you're bringing that warm moist air north. You're bringing that cold air and that stronger wind aloft from the south. West. You see the scissoring that's going on here? Let's get into this because this is a crucial part of why we have such a big tornado alley. And basically, we talk about this uh, a lot on the Weather Channel, this horizontal tube. Sometimes Forbes will grab a pencil and he'll roll it in his hand. That's exactly what's going on. Look at deep layer shear, but how do you turn this tube up into the vertical? Well, 
as warm, hot air rises, you get a cumulonimbus. And that cumulonimbus entrains this shear and this horizontal tube into it. So now you've got a supercell, a rotating thunderstorm. And it doesn't always happen. In other words, you don't always get a tornado, but at least a supercell gives you a chance for one. And we have supercells that set up uh, almost on a daily basis just about every spring. So again, as you can see, Tornado Alley is huge across the central, the southeast United States. Uh, and the reason for that is because of the way that we set up with our geography and the way that our spring patterns typically work here in the United States. Tornado Alley, it's not small, it's big. And it's why we have more tornadoes here in the United States than anywhere else in the world. Jim's getting a little sassy with the, with the <laughs> finger wag. Good technology, they're really interesting. Yeah, no doubt about it. Don't forget about Dixie Alley, too. Dixie Alley? Yeah. yeah. Look it up, Google. <laughs>